All right, Max, so here's the very first swing tonight. Again, see if I draw that line even, you know, parallel to the leading edge, you see how it's kind of tilted over there. And not every, but most any tour player you look at, at that point in the downswing, see now if I draw the line here, see it's going to be more vertical, more open at that point. And as we kept going through them, again, the good news is, buddy, you're around that plane line, not perfect on it, but you're sure around it. And you again, see that leading edge is too closed as we started the night tonight. Right there. And then when you change the grip, that's how it looked better. Toe is pointed up in the air much more in the downswing, like that, instead of what we're seeing over there on our left on the old gold. See, again, this toe is farther away from the shaft. I hear that toe is closer to the shaft. And so the new blue grip. look more like that. Where it, probably from here the main difference is you don't see the the uh, that dark spot inside your thumb pad on your right hand. You see what I mean? You see all this dark cavernous area there on your you see way down in the palm of your hand. We're sure you can't see that. That's the main way to see the difference everybody. That's a much better grip on our left that you want to remember. And again yeah, on both of those swings that I videoed, see that face is much more open well and throughout the downswing. So that's why it wasn't going low and left. Going much straighter there and higher. All right. But right there. So the upshot of it is that what you want to remember right there. Here's the new blue grip and the old gold grip there. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around meddling. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's a down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have a face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment. And we can get your swing from down to the 1 20th of a, 1 120th of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, when I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PuttersEdge.com. So when you hit your full shot, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. And you can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn the certain fields in the golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't, and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. And then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get some, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see, uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or, if we get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold. 
out into the air and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is with the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated, so we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said. It enables us to see some ball flight, and then we get satisfied that things are looking the way we want, and we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking, to make sure that you understand it. And then notice, too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years, too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks, or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsuds.com. Take care.